All right, guys. Uh, this video is going to be kind of an update video of what I've been starting or what I've started last year and kind of tapering on to this year. Um, it's February 2nd at night. Everyone's asleep. And I kind of want to show you what I've been doing um, since last year and stuff like that. Uh, I've, I've been putting off some stuff. Uh, I was asked to make a behemoth build for a demo um, in Hawaii. So I was focusing a lot of my time on that, building it, and waiting for parts to come over. And, you know, just the whole process of building it um, takes time and, and wait, definitely waiting for the parts. That, that, that part kind of sucked. But... Got it done. You can check my Instagram and Facebook that, you know, pictures of, of my progress. It's a blue one with fluorescent racing stripes, which is pretty kick-ass. So, got it done. Um, that took up basically January, uh, a lot of my time. But finally got moved on to this. This was done last year, but I haven't done any more videos because I was focusing on the, the, uh, the behemoth uh, for the demo. Uh, that's been done for a while, and let me see if I can slow it down. Um, that's been done for a while, but again, a lot of things have been put to the side. So I'm gonna start here, and uh, you know, let me know in the comments, you know, what you like, what you don't like, what what you change, and and uh, definitely hit the subscribe button and the like button, and my Instagram, it's Sweep Wings, uh, my Facebook, it's Sweep Wings. And just check me out and follow me. So a lot of that stuff helps. It keeps me motivated to keep going. So um, that's what I need. I get really tired out here uh, doing all this stuff by myself. And I know there's a lot of wings here and I got a lot of stuff. But for me, if I don't produce an airframe, that something that I see in my head, I get super bothered by it. Okay, I need to produce you know, a change, a tweak, something like that and have it in the physical form um, and just, you know, I have, it, I have it here. So if it's here, I'll feel better. I have to produce it. Um, just helps me, helps me, uh, you know, uh, stay focused and, and, and keep pushing on that one. Say, oh yeah, I remember I did that and put it to the side and continue it later. But anywho, enough of that little, little ramble. We'll start over here and then I'll work my way back. So, uh, the GoPro pod or the sweep wings camera pod, um, started this, drew it at work and I wanted something that, that can be integrated into the behemoth nose and other noses. Um, this was a beginning one and then I got the version two, version twos, well not version two, but just a, a second redo drops in like that. And before you start commenting the camera and lens protectors we're looking at one right now and um, the seeing what we can find for the GoPro one so we're gonna beef this up uh, I'm working with the Defcon 3d so he's helping me out and he will be uh, tweaking this um, the guy that designed this Joshua um, Plat Engineering helped me out, kind of put my paper drawing into a 3D shape because I don't have that that technology. I, well, not technology, but I don't have that time to sit down and and learn it because I'm doing other things, obviously. But he he did this for me, and it looked really freaking awesome. Super super pleased with it. And uh, what I'm going to do is just kind of fine tune it to where. You know, I can get, you know, thicker, the thicknesses and stuff like that. So what we're going to do is uh, take out these lines here, fill in the back, make this a little bit thicker. And I can't tell if that's in focus or not. So my bad. Let me see if I can adjust it. There we go. Okay. I'm shooting on a, a Canon four, T4i four um, with a microphone plugged in. So if my voice is all crackly or something, maybe it's the mic. Um and a fisheye lens because I like fisheyes because it gets everything. Um, but yeah, we're going to tweak it. Uh, this is the first one, second one. Got a third one in the mix that we're going to try to fine tune 
make it a little bit stronger for impact purposes, obviously. It'll have the skids in front, not these skids because this is bigger due to a camera underneath. Um, so that's that. Camera pod in the works. Stay tuned. Tell your friends about me. We'll move on to the second portion of this little video here. Um, this is actually part of the Pathfinder series for the sweep wings. And what I did was it's a juggernaut because I wanted to um, kind of assist the agricultural and 3D mapping guys. Um, you know, it's pretty popular and I make FPV v wings and it's like, eh, why not, right? So here it is, the my version of it in a three-part um, piece wing. And you can see the bays and all that good stuff. I haven't finished it yet. I haven't actually had time to go flying yet. But ESC's back here. And I'll... I'll cut it out, man. It receiver goes back there. Flight controller and your camera. Um, everything fits. Your battery goes there. And yeah. So the old frame I got, uh, it was a 4,000 milliamp three cell. And I got 48, 48, and then I got a 57 minute flight time on a 4,000 milliamp three cell. What I can fit in here is a 5,000 or 5,200 milliamp three cell battery that's even lighter. So I'll get the CG down and that's gonna be even longer. So we're gonna push for an hour, over an hour comfortably. And that's, that's the goal for this guy here. So it comes apart in different sections. You can see it, but so I'm gonna push this aside a little bit. Set that back here and move on to the next segment. This guy right here has been sitting for a while due to the other, other projects. And this bad boy here is four inches thick and is a two part section. It's got a, I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a spar in the front, spar in the back. Nice, nice tubed spar. Um, Sparred wings, so it's, let me see if I can lift it up, so it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty damn, damn stiff, and there's no laminate on it, so all of you know that no sweep wings, if you put the laminate on, and it's, you can pretty much take someone's head off, so there it is, that motor is overkill, and it's by uh, KDE Direct, let me see if I can squeeze over here, get my chair out of the way, but it's a huge, Huge motor that I have yet to try out. Let me see if it's in focus. There we go. Big old whopping motor. Yeah, it's big, it's overkill. And should it be on this wing? I don't know, but I'm gonna try it. And I got, here we go. I got the ESC ready to rock and roll. So basically that's gonna fit in fit in back here someplace, right? It's gonna hug the wall. So that'll give me a little bit of room or, or like that, or I might embed it, embed it a little. Again, I haven't had time to kind of work with this, but I just bought the parts. So I'll figure out the wiring. It might fit in here, cause this is an empty bay right here, believe it or not. And then figure out a way to, to run that. So still playing with this. This was on the menu. This is actually the, uh, the Pathfinder, Sweep Wings Pathfinder. This was like the main, main bad boy. And these are part of the series, uh, the smaller one and the bigger one. So huge battery bay up front um, to get that CG down. These wings are basically the behemoth wings with a huge Pathfinder bay that's cut out and shaped that I hand shaped it. So battery cameras, uh, flight controller or flight controller, um, wherever you decide to put it, and whatever else you want to put in there. I haven't decided if I want to keep it a solid wing, so I can go either or, but just interlocking the two pieces together, that's kind of where I stopped and moved on to the, um, the new projects. So there's that. It's a nine minute video. 
actually it's a 10 minute video. So there's that. So if you see that around, uh, Sweep Wings Pathfinder and another uh, uh, Pathfinder pod that I'm doing now. So that's that. Um, these are all gonna be, these are for mapping. Here's a, the runners up for mapping. I'm gonna put this little flinch over here. Okay, here's another one. This is actually gonna go um, go through kind of a, a build process of, you know, I've got a sectional piece here. This Basically these two are the same, um, sectional. And just so you guys can get a close up look of how it's done. I have the flight controller here. It's kind of wiggling right there. Uh, telemetry. Current sensor is going to go on the side over here once I get that mounted. It's going to go on this little side. And let me see, is that video clear? I can't tell. My arm's moving. So. There we go. Uh, GPS compass. There's servos. ESC will probably be back here someplace. Receiver will go in here someplace. Um, airspeed sensor with the uh, Pleto tube is uh, snugged in right here. So if you hit, it'll go in. Boop hide but I'll I'll kind of lock it down a little bit better got your splitter here for the uh, compass and GPS system there uh, this wire goes into the, the sensor there and yeah we'll move on to the next section so that's that that'll be done here pretty soon blinking blinking at me for 11 minutes new flinch a little bit more sharper airfoil same thickness just a little bit thicker so you guys kind of get the idea. So there's that. And the snipe pod is being made by Tim Snipeworm. And uh, he's making these sweet little pods here at home. And it's really slick because the bottom of it, that's where your battery goes right here. And a 52,000 or 5,200 milliamp three cell fits in there. So that's gonna go like that. Your motor, ESC, all your goodies in here, whatever you want, flight controller or whatever you want basically in here. Mobius and your flight camera with his logo. So we're gonna try to fit it up with a flinch or juggernaut. This is, this is actually the flinch with the new airfoil, so it'll sit like that, right at the belly. And your motor will go back there, and yeah, that'll be pretty much the system. So you can put a nice, good-sized battery in there. Normally, the flinch is run on a 22. Some guys are running more, but this will run on a 5200 milliamp that's actually really light. So big capacity right at the nose to, to lock down that CG, and you can play with it because it slides... Um, you know, back and forth, so you can kind of figure out figure out where it's at. Uh, flinch is six inches from the nose, and then you can Velcro uh, it in or strap it in or whatever you want to do. So that's the new one. That's like I think it's like 32, 33 inches, which is pretty damn slick. So Tim Snipeworm, you can get a hold of him. Uh, just do search for him, but he's going to be producing these um, these pods here, and they look pretty damn slick. So, yeah, it's not balsa, it's an ABS uh, plastic. Um, yeah, stay tuned. Just a quick rundown of 14 minutes. I'm, hopefully you guys didn't fall asleep on me. Uh, got a Skywalker here version, 2015 version, that I'm gonna build and reinforce the whole damn thing because it's EPO and EPO sucks. So I'm gonna laminate it and Put bigger horns, you know, a system like this, just beef it up a little bit more. Uh, put a new skid on the bottom or a type of a skid on the bottom. So that'll be there. Got stuff to do with that among make the kit. So you guys make sure you guys hit the like button and stay tuned with all the, the good stuff that I'm, I'm going to try to produce. And uh, hopefully 2015 is, is a positive year for me. That's what I'm going to try to stay. Stay positive and uh, help me out. Let me know, you know if there's something I need to change uh, like that. Again, 
all this is by hand, these hands, or this hand here, and sometimes I get help, sometimes I don't. It's a lot of work for me in the shop, but you know, bear with me there and uh, you know, uh, don't get mad at me. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Just stay positive. Um, that's, all, that's all I'm trying to do right now. Just, you know, these things are, they don't exist. And so if I'm gonna try to keep, the, um, keep these out there and, and you know, basically I'm, I'm throwing rocks at, at the big guys, right? That's what I'm doing. And I want you to see that, hey, you don't need to spend a lot of money on these. Um, it's, it's, they're gonna be relatively cheap. And that's, that's the goal I wanna, wanna keep. All US made, US you know, airframes, I can't say, say anything about the you know, parts because they're all made in Mexico, China, Taiwan, wherever. So frames are made in the USA, pods made in the USA. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm trying to do. Um, so yeah, let me know guys, hey, again, hit the like, subscribe, tell your friends, spread the word, spread the love. All right guys, and on that note, I'm out.